Oh, sorry. Recording. We thank God this is our new location. You can uh, come on out here, sister. We're going to show in the parking lot. We have our parking space. It's over uh, 175 parking spaces. This is only three years. The Lord has blessed us. This is our third year. We'll be celebrating three years, May 22nd. Uh, honey, it's kind of cold out here. So what we're going to let's go inside and show them what the Lord has done. It's marvelous and I. So come on and go with us. Come on, follow us. We're going to go all in here to the new Impact Center where the Lord has blessed us tremendously um, here in the city of Kalamazoo. Come on in. We just so excited. This will be our administration room and uh, where you enter, of course, to see the big preacher and uh, do all the business and different things. And um, this, my wife is the administrative pastor and she will be explaining a lot of things that's going on. Honey, just show them what, let's just show them. What do you want to do? Just show them. Come on, come on with us. Come on with us. Uh, this is not MTV Cribs, but this is a better crib. This is God's house. So we have over, I believe, 12 administrative offices, and the Lord has blessed us tremendously. And we're just going to do a little walkthrough because we believe we have faith partners, and this can't come from Richard until you partner with us and be coming to agree. Listen, the Lord is blessing us. We want you to be partners with us and tap into his glory and tap into the pneuma. He's breathing on, breathing on upon our ministry. This is, again, this is only our third year in ministry and the Lord has blessed us uh, with a building that's so magnanimous it just makes me smile. Just come <laughs> on with us and you will see. Going, of course, this is uh, Lady May's office. My camera girl, got she graduated from Michigan State, she so gotta keep up with it. <laughs> but this is Lady May's office. The Lord has blessed us with tremendously. And we're so excited about that. And then, come on with me to my office or my domain. We have a little class here. Um, we had a little class here yesterday. But this is my office space, and the Lord is blessing me tremendously. Come on, honey, walk with me. Come on, we came this far together, and you should be liking me high. Come on. Amen. Come on, come on, come on. This will be our entryway, and this is our lobby. This is hands-on. You see it now. But wait till you get through sowing your seed, and wait till you get down to your praying, your prayer. You will see we have the state of the art, and God's going to bless us tremendously. We have uh, wonderful restrooms. We do so many you want to see what God was doing. And uh, this will be our entryway. We will have double door, glass doors here, and um, all sorts of things. Come with us. What are you entering now is, is the sanctuary. And uh, the sanctuary part is where it's going to the impact center where people's lives will be changed, prophetic anointings, prophetic flow, miracle service, and all that type of stuff. Come on. What you see here, from the look, what you see here is we're going to be entering into what we call our gymnasium as well as our roller skating rink. We're in the process of really fixing that. Lord is blessing. This is going to be all new floor where it's going down. Me and my son, one on one, full court basketball games, the impact center with youth, uh, uh, bowling. We will have uh, roller skating rinks and where it's going to go down with the funky parliament dancing to it on Friday nights. Um, and Everything's going down in the Impact Center, and we're just excited about the Impact Center. Let's go. we got so much to show. And uh, right here, you will, what will you be entering into the hallway of our sanctuary. And this will be our cafe, our bookstore. And uh, the men are working wonderfully, <laughs> diligently. Uh, and, uh, just come on go with us. This will be the sanctuary. This is where lives will be changed and the impact will go down. And we're just excited. Honey, what about you? I'm just excited about what God is doing. Oh, she's so, a woman will feel work, but she's making an impact. Come on, walk with her. Maybe if you just turn around and just show everybody. This 
will be our first truck we'll give away on the first Sunday. No, I'm just playing. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Wait, 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 wait. Let me hear what you say. Give up, give up. We're still praying about this area. The Lord's giving us so much area. We may make it a gymnasium. We may make it a fellowship hall, a banquet hall. Wait, this may be the place where we store vehicles or just have an inside safety. So it's going to be a safe haven for a lot of our youth. You've been hearing about the X train. You've been hearing about murder rates at Kalamazoo. No longer are we going to partner with the Kalamazoo Public Safety. We're going to get these young men off the streets at 10, 8, 10 p.m. and 12 midnight at 3 a.m. They can come here and have a good hot meal. Then they can play basketball all night. They can have uh, health and wellness programs. I mean, we're trying to make an impact in Kalamazoo and in West Michigan and all over this nation. And we only can do it with your help and with your partnerships and with your donations. We come this far in three years by a tithe and by an offering. I myself, I don't get a salary. My wife doesn't get a salary, but we believe in making an impact on people. Let's go and see my wife's domain. Come on, walk with us. <laughs> That's the contract, and he don't know we feel. This, you're entering to the Anne Framing Learning Center. Our children are our future. The scripture said, train up a child the way he should go. When he get older, he will not depart. So therefore, the Lord has laid it upon my wife's heart, Administrator Kenya, to um, assist in the children's literacy program and educating our children, reading programs for both young as well as adults. Come on in. Here you will see it will be our computer lab. We're looking for anyone that would like to donate computers, Dell computers, and uh, laptops, and all that type of stuff, iPads, and iPad 2. So this is where we go on with our Literacy and Technology Center. Um, this is the before project, but through your partnership and your corporate partnership, this will be able to allow this to be fulfilled. Let's go. This building making me get in shape. <laughs> This again will be one of our, we provide um, Sunday school classes. We will be providing um, daycare and we'll be providing whatever the Lord leads us to do to make an impact on the Kalamazoo area. Um, we're just excited about what God is doing. This is classroom three and we will have for our little ones, through our impact, our children, through our um, impact um, center, they will come here before they roller skate, before they play ball all night, before they eat candy or get pizza, free pizza, have a movie night. They will at least have to come here, uh, read a book or two, read a chapter or two, uh, because without our education, scripture said, my people are destroyed because of a lack of a knowledge. So therefore, we will put knowledge and sow wisdom into our children and we're looking forward to making a, another impact. <laughs> this will be me and Armani's favorite spot, the lunch room. Come on in. <laughs> another classroom, classroom four. Classroom four. We're not a church as usual. We only have uh, worship on Sundays for 90 minutes, 10 a.m. to 11.30, right, honey? And she has a woman uh, Bible class on Mondays, 6.30 to 8, and then we have on Wednesday night, wild service worship on Wednesdays, 7 a.m. to 8.30. We don't believe it takes all day to, uh, to minister the word of God because people have lives, they have education, they have dreams they need to pursue. So what you're entering now is where the kitchen area, the cafeteria, where we will feed the homeless, we'll have outreach programs. Um, Michigan is very, going, oops, I'm sorry, Michigan is going through a lot of financial trouble at this time. It's not just up to our government to feed the homeless, but as Jesus said, when I was naked, you didn't clothe me. When I was hungry, you didn't feed me. So we're going to feed the homeless and 
not only that, come on in. And uh, right here, you will see where we would give them a free shower. We will be able to shower and do different things of that nature. So come on, we have a little more tour. And we're just excited about what God has blessed and placed this in our hands. And uh, it's not that we don't like vision. We don't like vision. We lack a little resources. But through whoever sees this, if God touches your heart, we pray that you will see the need to meet the people's needs. And uh, we're excited because God loves all of his children. Regardless of all ethnicity or culture persuasion, we are still God's children. And so this is where the cafeteria will be. And uh, where the children will eat, the saints, the people of God will come and uh, dine in. And we have a, a kitchen, excuse the mess, but we're still in the process of cleaning and renovating. Don't know where the light is, but nonetheless, this is our kitchen. And we are um, just excited about that. Listen, this is two entities. This is not just Abundant Faith. Abundant Faith has partnered with Impact Center. A lot of people um, don't understand that this is two entities. Abundant Faith will take care of itself, but the Impact Center is a separate entity that we partner with corporations and companies that will make an impact on our today's youth. Kalamazoo, we have several deaths um, this year already, and we, our prayers go out to the families, even to the police officer who was slain in the street uh, while on duty. Uh, we, we want to make an impact on today's youth. We want to make an impact on those that's hooked up on controlled substance. We will have substance abuse classes. We will do all the things to meet the total man need. I'm, I, I'm telling you, if you don't have a church home, if you're a child, you have a, a troubled teenager, give impact your time, give us your, your uh, ability, just pick up the phone and call. You say, well, how can I call? Well, just give us a week or two and go to our website, www.amirmayministries.com. If you have a troublesome uh, teen or a troublesome son, email me. I'm willing to take out the time to spend time with your youth and to make an impact, you can email me at abundant.faithpastor at hotmail.com. I'm just excited to be with my lovely wife, and we're just ready to make an impact. And we look forward to seeing you at this impact center at Abundant Faith Word Church.